Hey everybody, this video brings us back out to the Morris Cemetery established in 1867 here in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. I am so completely and totally in love with this hand-painted sign. That's gonna be one of the coolest signs I have ever seen for a cemetery in my entire life. So you guys may remember we were just out here, maybe, I don't know, a month or so ago, and the reason why we were out here was to take a look at a very famous grave, the grave of Terry Gillickson, who was a famous singer, songwriter, folk singer, did some work with Disney, most notably known for his song, The Bare Necessities from the Jungle Book. Very awesome grave to take a look at, very famous grave out here at the Morris Cemetery, again in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. But turns out I actually missed a very, I don't wanna say famous grave, but a very insanely amazing grave when I was out here last time. In fact, I had no idea this grave even existed. I could actually see the grave from here. How I miss this poking up over the cemetery tombstones, I have no idea. I honestly do not know how I completely missed over this. I was actually doing some research again on the cemetery, saw some photos some people had taken of the cemetery, and I saw this amazing grave, and I was like, wow, I, I gotta get back out here, and I gotta check this grave out. I gotta document this grave. I gotta show you guys this amazing grave. Again, rest in peace to the Butt family. Always gotta show off the Butt family when we come out here. I just feel so incredibly sorry for that family. I can't imagine growing up with the last name of Butt, B-U-T-T, but whatever though, but, but it's okay. They're now all here, all together. I'm sure they lived a fantastic life being known as the Butt family. Anyway, so we're out here to check out a pretty awesome and amazing grave. We're not here to check out the butts. We're not here to, uh, usually when I go somewhere to check out butts, but today we're not checking out any butts. Again, so we're not here to check out the butts. We're not here to check out the, the grave of an amazing folk singer. We're not here, even here to check out any of these other amazing older graves out here. There are some really fantastic graves out here. Check these out. I love these ones here with the actual like flower beds in them. Unfortunately, as you can see, nobody maintains these. Nobody keeps flowers in the actual flower beds of the, uh, of the graves anymore, which is unfortunate. I kind of wish somebody would do that. If I ever pass away and I have a cool grave like that, hopefully somebody keeps it going, keeps putting flowers in my grave. Who knows though, look at that one there. With the angel on top of it, that one's also cool. But again, we're not here to take a look at that one either. The one we're taking a look at is actually down this road right here, I can see his legs. Oh yes, I said I said legs. This is pretty awesome. Look at the chapel here. 1869. I always hate getting up to this thing because I always just fear, again, zombies are gonna come running out of this. Looks like, I don't know, I feel like, I, I, again, I feel like one swift kick to that door and the door's coming down. We can actually go inside there. We're not gonna do that. So, like I said though, we're out here to take a look at a really cool grave that I definitely gotta check out. Here's a grave once again of Terry Gilkson, AKA Hamilton Henry Gilkson III, singer, songwriter, the writer of The Bare Necessities from Disney's Jungle Book, very awesome. I believe there's also another famous grave somewhere around here that is again, not the grave I'm actually bringing you out here to see. Look at this, somebody lost their, their uh, fidget spinner, look at that. Doesn't work anymore. Probably should not have touched that. I don't know where the other interesting grave is. I wanna say it's, um, is this it here? See, oh yes, Samuel. Whitaker Pennypacker, I believe he was, I'm trying to see here. <laughs> I believe he was a um, governor, yes, governor of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. There we go. So Private 26 Pennsylvania Emergency Regiment at Gettysburg, resident judge of the Philadelphia Court of Common Pleas, number two, resident of the Historical Society of Pennsylvania and governor of the Commonwealth. So yes, he was actually a governor of Pennsylvania, which is pretty awesome. Again, though, not here to take a look at the governor, former governor of Pennsylvania. We're here to take a look at it. It has to be one of the coolest and most amazing graves I have ever seen in my entire life due to what is outside of this of this grave, outside of this, this tombstone. It's really, really cool, really interesting, really unique. Look at this one here with like the, the, the paper coming up. I love interesting tombstones like this. Like this kind of stuff like is, is what I love. I don't want to step on anybody's, anybody's tombstone. I love the unique and interesting tombstones and grave sites. I mean, anybody can just have a, a placard. Anybody can just have a, a standard, like, um, I was gonna say cinder block, but why would it be cinder block? It is marble. Anybody can have a standard kind of marble tombstone nowadays. Everybody pretty much has those, but not everybody has what we're about to see right now, which is really, really neat. This is pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, how, again, how did I miss this? How did I not know? This was a thing. This is so cool. Look at this. It is the grave of Anthony P. Shimmer. I'm saying that right, Shimer maybe? 
born November 7th, 1819, died January 28th, 1896. That is kind of hard to read with the, with the sun on it, but look at this. How cool is that? An actual bronze statue of the man himself. Look at that. This is so amazing. He was actually a florist, which explains why he has the, the flower pot in his hand. But I mean, this is a life-size bronze statue of the man himself. How, just how amazing is that? This is the kind of thing I want at my grave when I pass away. I want a life-size bronze statue of me standing there, hold, not holding a flower, holding maybe a, a DVD or something like that, or holding a, a figment plush or a Spice Girl action, or, I was gonna say action figure, a Spice Girl doll. I always, I always wanna call them action figures, they're dolls. A Spice Girl doll, something cool like that in my hands. Maybe one of each, who knows? Look at this though, that is just too, too cool. I don't know how I missed this. I never knew this was here. I've been out to the cemetery multiple times to actually check out the grave of, of Ham, Henry Hamilton, T Terry Gilkson. I was, I was here to check out the, the grave of Terry Gilkson multiple times in the past. The other time we were out here was not my first time being out here to check out his grave. And yet somehow I always miss over the grave of Anthony P. Shimmer, Shimer. This is too, too awesome. I'm loving this. People have for some reason put rocks down at his feet. I'm not sure what that means. A couple people, or at least one person here, has left a quarter for the uh, for the Shimmer or Shimer family. So this, I guess, is, is this entire family here. This is his wife, Rebecca. Look at that. What a really awesome grave site. This is wife and his mother. Or no, sorry, wife of John Shimmer and mother. Sorry, wife. Wife and mother, that would be a whole interesting, different story. We're not gonna get into that. Wife of John Shimmer and mother of Anthony P. Shimmer, or again, Shimer, I'm not entirely sure. There's this daughter. This is too cool. Yeah, what a really, really, really nice. There's Anthony himself. What a really nice area to be buried. I mean, they have their, their whole entire family plot right here in this really cool circle with a really cool monument and the actual statue itself. That is just too amazing. I, I can't get over this again. I don't know how I ever missed this. It's kind, of, it's kind of creepy to be completely honest with you. I can't imagine being out here at night and you're just walking around the cemetery. Maybe you're, you're one of those people who like coming out to the cemeteries at night and walking around and creeping about. You're coming down this little pathway right here. You're looking at all the different, different headstones. You're maybe getting a little creeped out because you're in the cemetery and then out the corner of your eye, you see this. I don't know about you, but I'd probably scream and run that way. I would, I would freak out. I would, I would not be happy if I were to stumble upon this in the dark. Maybe that's the whole reason why this is here. Maybe he was like, I don't want anybody coming out to my grave at night. I don't want anybody coming out to my grave in the dark and, and messing with stuff and vandalizing. I'm gonna create this statue so when people come out here, they see it, they get scared and they run away. That's what I'm thinking happened. Too cool, too awesome. So like I said, he was a florist by trade and here's a statue to commemorate him with a potted plant and everything. That is too cool. Definitely had to get out here and show this to you guys. I can't believe I missed this. Can't believe I had no idea this existed. That's amazing. That is awesome. I wanted to see this with my own eyes and to bring you guys along with me while I showed that. But with that, we are done because my brain, as you can probably notice by this video, is starting to shut down. It is about 475 billion degrees out right now, which is why I'm standing in the shade. It is insanely hot. We, for a while there, we were having a heat wave Then the weather got kind of nice and then the heat wave has, has officially come back. It is once again, extremely, extremely warm out. I cannot tell you how much I'm looking forward to hoodie weather. I'm not one of those, ooh, pumpkin lattes and, and Halloween and fall type people. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, well, I don't like pumpkin lattes, but I love Halloween. I love the fall. I like all that stuff, but I'm not like one of those obsessed people with it. I'm not one of those people who post stuff on the internet all the time about how much, how, how amazing the fall is. However, however, with that being said, now that I've been doing these, uh, these daily videos, I cannot wait for the nice fall hoodie weather so I can come out to these places, bring you guys along with me to these places and not sweat to death while doing it. I know, don't wear jeans, don't wear a black t-shirt, but it is what it is, that is what I do. So, all right guys, with that, we are gonna go. I'm gonna go get some water. I'm gonna go stop at a Wawa, get myself a nice big bottle of water, quench my thirst. Once again, the amazing statue here of Anthony P. Is it Shimer or Shimmer? I'm not entirely sure, but still very cool. Very awesome. One of the coolest things I've ever seen. I just had to get out here and see this for myself. As soon as I found out this existed, I'm so bummed. I never saw it before. 
and you will get back out here. But again, guys, we're going to go. So as always, thank you so much for checking this video out. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check, well, those are my stores. I'm now doing the, again, brain shutting down. I'm doing the rant for my daily thrifting videos. Check down below for links to Patreon and Spreadshirt. If you become a, if you become a patron, I can... <laughs> If you become a patron, you do get a monthly postcard to send to you from the road. If you uh, head over to Spreadshirt, you can grab yourself uh, What's With Dave Today t-shirts or a Cinema Sickness t-shirt, whatever you want to do. Oh my God, my brain is definitely 100% shutting down. I'm just going to see, I'm probably just going to sit here in the shade for the next like 15 minutes before I go anywhere. So anyway, guys, definitely check out the links down below. I will see you guys in the next video. If you hit that subscribe button, I will see you tomorrow. Awesome and amazing grave there. That is so cool. Looking at that actually in the viewfinder, kind of it does kind of freak me out. It looks like something's actually standing there and coming towards me. They're coming to get you, David. That's creepy. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna lie down. I'm gonna go. So thanks for watching. You can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. And like I said, if you hit that subscribe button, I will see you tomorrow. Where hopefully my mind might be with it. Probably not. See you then. Bye.